Alright, welcome to Right On with John Crane. And today I'm going to show you how to wire an electrical outlet. Now I've had quite a few requests for this. And uh, so what I'm going to do here today is show how to wire a 120 volt, 15 or 20 amp receptacle, uh, typically found in a residential setting there. So uh, let's get busy. This is going to be a quick tutorial on this. Here are the tools to get the job done. A screw gun here with a number two Phillips, a 3 16 flat head screwdriver, a quarter inch flat head screwdriver, a number two Phillips head screwdriver, a pair of linesman's pliers, some wire strippers, and some needle nose pliers. All right, I've set up a little mock up here on my bench. And what I've done is I've ran some 20 amp wire. Now this is 12 AWG wire that I have run here. And here we got power coming in, coming into the box, and then another wire here, power leaving the box and going to the next receptacle. Now this is a typical scenario that you're gonna see over and over again, right? And there's lots of different scenarios that you're gonna see in electrical boxes, but this one is pretty typical. So what we're going to do is we're going to wire this receptacle right here. Now this is a 15 amp receptacle. And you, if you look closely on here, it is 15 amps, it's right at here. But this can be used on a 20 amp line. So this is 20 amp wire here, 12 gauge wire. But there are, they also do make outlets here that are 20 amp outlets that have this little prong on the neutral here off to the side, right? But today's demonstration, we're going to use this 15 amp receptacle. So the first thing that I like to do here is to come into the box, right? And I like to separate my wires. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the ground wires here, right? I'll move you in a little closer. All right, so the ground wires, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move these ground wires over to the left side of the box. Now, if you look at the receptacle here, you notice that the ground here is always on the left and the neutral here is always on the left, right? And the hot is always on the right. Now you can tell this is a neutral, right? Because the screw is a silver color. Now that tells you that that's the neutral, right? And usually the hot is a brass colored or sometimes it's a black screw. But in this case, on most receptacles, it's gonna be a brass denotes hot, silver denotes neutral there. And of course, ground is green. So what I'm gonna do now, right, is I'm gonna take the ground wires and I'm going to move them to the left side of the box. And what I do right away, these two wires, I start to twist these wires just like this. Just enough till I get the twist out of the box. Just like that. See, I got a little bit of the twist out of the box. And then what I like to do is to use what's known as a ground crimp. And that's why I like these linesman's pliers right here because they have this little crimping tool. And what I do is I slide this in here and I slide this right over the two ground wires and I give that a nice crimp right there. And then I'll come back and I'll snip this wire right off. And now I got one wire left right here to connect to my ground. Now, if you don't have these crimping pliers, another way to do those grounds is to use a green wire nut there. And these come with a hole in the end right there. So you could twist these two together, slide this over, and then put that wire nut on, and then you'll have a ground lead coming out that you can connect to your receptacle there. But I like to use these ground crimps right there so now what I do to make this box nice and neat, right, is I'm going to fold this back just like that and fold this right down just like that so that this ground wire is coming right out on the bottom of the box there, right? All right, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna separate out these neutrals 
And again, these neutrals are going to the left side of the box, right? So I get these together. And there, see, I got the two neutrals together. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull these out together and pinch them together with my fingers, right? And now I'm going to cut these right here. And then I'm gonna strip off one inch. Right, with my strippers here, stripping off one inch of the insulation. And the method I'm gonna do to wire this receptacle is called the pigtail method. So I've cut another section of wire here, eight inches long of 12 gauge wire there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold these two wires right here. I'm gonna bring in this third one right here, All right? And this is gonna, make a pigtail right here. And so the method is to pinch these two in a, uh, pinch these three, I should say, in a triangle formation right there, come in with the linesman's pliers and start to give these a twist, just like you're twisting a rope, right? And you want this to get a nice twist on it, right? Let's see, and I'll, I'll zoom in on this twist. Right, see that, how I got that right there, that twist? Now come back and we're gonna trim this. And I'm gonna leave about, I don't know, five eighths of an inch or so. So I'm gonna trim this just like that, right? See how that end looks when that's cut off just like that? And since this is three 12 gauge wires, I'm coming in with a red wire nut here. All right, I'll back out a little bit. All right, and I'm gonna twist this red wire nut on. And this method here, this dates back to uh, my electrical trades teacher, Joe Brightweiser there, back in uh, Denville, New Jersey, showing me how to do this uh, years and years ago, All right? So now this is a key method right here, twisting those wires with the linesman's pliers there. And the, the ticket to this is you cannot pull that out of there. That's nice, it's twisted in there. Sometimes if you just got three straight wires and, and if you don't twist them, you come in with a wire nut there, sometimes you can pull one of those wires out. This way, you got a nice solid connection there. All right, so they see how that's got a nice twist? All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold this neatly into the box and I'm gonna put this neutral wire here on the left side of the box. All right, now we got our hot wires. Now, same, same thing, I'm gonna hold these two, All right? I'm gonna snip this off right about there, strip back an inch on each wire All right, I'm gonna come in with my pigtail wire that I cut about eight inches long there. I'm gonna hold all three of these together. See that, just like that? Hold all three of those together, just like that. Now come in with the linesman's pliers. Give this a twist. All right, and then cut this back to about five eighths of an inch. Come in with the, the red wire nut right there and make sure you give this a nice twist and you get that real solid. All right, same thing. Neatly tuck this into the back of the box. Yeah, we don't want a big squirrel's nest here. All right, so now you got your two leads neatly sticking out here. Now see what the deal is here, why I like this method is you could come in, right? And typically you're gonna see this where you come in with a neutral right here, the incoming neutral uh, joins right here and the outgoing neutral would leave right here. And same thing, you put the incoming hot and the outcoming hot right here. I don't like that method there because 
you're running all the electricity is going through this outlet. And I feel like that's the weak link. Right now, the power coming in is going through and uh, it's continuous and you're just coming off with this pigtail here, right, on each one. And so the outlet is not interrupting the whole circuit there, right? This is a, a great method of wiring. And I feel when you're wiring these boxes, you should take the time to wire it like this. I feel this is much safer and uh, this is gonna hold up to the test of time there. All right, so now we got the two leads right there. And what I'm gonna do is come in and I'm gonna give these a little hook on the end right there, right? I already stripped the ends on these uh, a little bit over an inch, right? And I'm gonna put a hook on each end there and I'll zoom in on that. All right, see the hook right there? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this hook, right? And this is gonna go clockwise around the terminal screw there. See that? And then what I like to do is come in with the needle nose and I like to give that an extra little pinch there. See that? That's hooked all the way around that screw right there. Come in with the number two Phillips and give that a nice tightening there. Not crazy tight, but tight where that's, you know, not gonna come loose there. Right, so there we got the hot right there. Same thing on the neutral side, clockwise around the screw. Come in with the needle nose pliers here. Give that a pinch. Tighten that down, right? That's a really strong connection there. That's a lot different than just sliding a single wire. You know, they have these little plates here where you can crimp the wire down. I don't know. I like this hook around the screw there. It just seems like a, a very nice connection. You know, you know that that's not going anywhere. All right. Likewise here on the ground, we give this a little hook right here. We hook this onto the ground. Same thing, I like coming in with the needle nose here and give this just a little extra pinch. Come back in and tighten that up. All right, look at that. That's a nice solid connection we got going on there. And you get these wires bent where it's kind of an accordion type thing going on here. So you can easily push this down into the box. What I like to do is I like just to push this down first and then I lift it back up and I put these screws in and I come in with the screw gun here. Right, and then come in with your receptacle cover here. Drop your screw in, come in with the 3 16 flathead screwdriver there. And when I put these screws in, I like to line these up in a vertical. You know, you could have them going this way on the tip of the screw there. But sometimes this, I think this looks nice that this is in line with these guys here. And I just wanted to show you real quick, if you were doing a two gang box and you're going to put two receptacles in one box, you can come in and you can put two pigtails off of the wires right here. So here's two hot pigtails coming off. You send one to each receptacle. Here's uh, two neutral pigtails coming out. You send one out to each receptacle there. So there's four wires under one wire nut there, right? All right, right on, right on. I hope you guys found this video helpful there. And stay tuned because I'm going to be doing a series of videos like this on simple electrical wiring such as single pole switches, three-way switches, four-way switches, and that type of thing. So uh, look for some videos down the road here and uh, I'll give some quick tutorials. So I hope you guys are doing great and uh, I'll see y'all soon. All right, right on.